The start of My Hero Academia's fourth season was pretty underwhelming. We can all agree on that, right? We were given not only one, but two entire recap episodes, followed by two episodes that, while they were fun and had some emotional moments, ended up being filled with a lot of expositional dialogue meant to set the stage for the upcoming arc. And one of the episodes ended up being delayed an entire week. And they were all filled to the brim with flashbacks of stuff that we have seen dozens of times already, even if we never rewatched any of the episodes. How many times we gotta see this scene? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's different. But hey, this is nothing new to my hero. In fact, I'm pretty sure season one makes up a majority of the footage in the second and third seasons. But hey, it's not the creator's fault the show sucks now. We could never stop broadcasting networks from ruining everything. I just want to watch the new shit. I'm tired of watching child Deku cry. I see him cry enough as a teenager. Guys, I'm joking. Mostly. The show isn't bad now. This isn't a video about why my hero became awful. And I don't hate the show either. What are you, nuts? I still love this shit. Especially now that it's picking up steam. Red Riot going all diamond is unbreakable like a metapod using Harden. Er is one of the dumbest and coolest moves I've seen in a while. That shit had me popping off. My main issue is that the show has a bit of an annoying pacing problem, and that problem stems from its heavy reliance on recaps and flashbacks, something far too common among other long-running shonen series. While it doesn't make me hate the show, it does become irritating every time I notice, and others have probably noticed it as well, so let's talk about it. Like I said before, My Hero dedicated the first two episodes of its fourth season, recapping the seasons prior. This sucked. Getting excited for the show's return, only to be disappointed with content we've already seen before, delaying the real stuff for not just one, but two weeks? It sucks. It's not fun. It can derail the hype train and leave a bad taste in the viewer's mouth. But. It's a necessary evil that coincides with the modern age of anime consumption. Let me explain. See, back in the day, a lot of older shows with a long-running linear narrative would usually take a minute or two to recap the events of the previous episode, doing the whole But the last episode of Dragon's Ball Pay. This was due to anime only being viewable on certain networks at the mercy of the broadcasting schedule. So if you missed an episode or were dropping in on the show for the first time at a random place, such was the nature of flipping through channels back in the day, the recaps would be there to give viewers the context they needed to follow along with the story. This helped retain viewership during that era, and is still used by shows whose primary audience is televised viewers, even if it is a nightmarish hellscape of fucking nothing for like the first four minutes of every episode, every single week. But we're in the modern age of the internet, with Crunchyroll right at our fingertips. Or Netflix. Or Verve. Or Torrents. Whatever suits you, man. I don't care. I ain't here to judge. Missing an episode doesn't happen anymore. You can watch it whenever. And being able to choose the episode means the only place you would ever start a show at would be episode one. So what modern anime like My Hero tend to do is dedicate an entire episode, usually at the start of the season, but sometimes during an arc transition like <gasps> the 0.5 episodes in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure does, to re- I'm <laughs> not taking that take. It's used to give people a refresher on the important events that have happened, and this works pretty well as there is usually a large break in between seasons. And while people can refresh themselves by watching old episodes or doing some wiki diving, there can be a lot of information to read through, especially as a show gets longer and longer. Not everyone is going to want to do that. They would be much happier consuming the product that gave them all the information they needed to remember what was important, and not have to do homework to enjoy a show. While enjoying the wonderful mess that is Sword Art Online Alicization World of the Underworld, guys, trust me, it's really funny, Kirito is doing a cloud, I love it. I had the thought that watching the recap episode might be a good idea. There are a lot of important names and ideas being thrown around. You got the Fluctlights, the good forces, the evil demonic forces, all their leaders, the Japanese military, the American hit squad people, the giant floating turtle we're sitting on, this creepy fuck who squishes bugs and d does... Uh, 
Uh, what is what's happening? A refresher didn't seem like that bad of an idea. Luckily though, I came down from my high and remembered that they were going to ramble about all of these things during hours of exposition. And that in the end, none of it really matters. Just watch the cool new particle effects. <sighs> God bless America. My Hero does try to go above and beyond with its recaps. Most anime tend to just straight up recount the events, while My Hero interlaces some story elements to make it seem like an actual episode, even if it's just filler content. Which you know what? Good for them. A for effort. The episodes are fine. The pool episode in season 3 was enjoyable, fluffy, summertime fun, even if the Midoriya and Ida reminiscing did feel a little forced. And I enjoyed the news journalist. The guy was pretty cool, and it was probably the most natural way a recap could be told in a story. They even take the time to evolve Deku's character, as he reflects on those recapped events and we get to see how different he is from how he was going into the new season. Like his slightly new altered goal for becoming the best hero, while also trying not to worry people like Daredevil All Might does. It's nice. The staff of the anime understand what they have to deal with, and they try to make the best of it. But man, oh man, do these episodes suck dick. These episodes are a big dick that you gotta suck. Now you can try and dress up the dick, give it a bow tie, drizzle some chocolate syrup on it, wrap it up in a tortilla, but we all know what it really is. It's a dick, and you gotta suck that dick. These are still episodes that consist almost entirely of content we have already seen multiple times. And if you are following the show as each new episode premieres, you end up disappointed at what feels like a waste of an episode. And it's even worse for My Hero's case because they try to put effort into making it watchable, meaning you could be missing out on some genuinely great content. You feel obligated to watch it. You feel obligated to suck that dick. You gotta suck that dick. You just gotta do it. Of course, this will still never be as bad as the old way of recaps where you had to suck a little dick each week, but you still gotta suck a big dick once a season. What's worse, sucking one big dick every 26 episodes or sucking 26 little dicks over a season? <laughs> what this really boils down to is recaps are a punishment for people who have the most investment in the show. People like us, we don't need a recap. We know what happened. And we remember it pretty accurately. Not only are we the type to rewatch episodes, or at least our favorite moments, but we talk about it with others. We share our opinions and thoughts. We watch others doing the same. We know what happened. We just want to watch the new stuff without being bogged down by the old. Unfortunately, recaps are just a necessary evil that comes with broadcasting a long-running shonen series. And we just gotta tolerate it. Just gotta tolerate the story being retold in flashbacks. Being retold in flashbacks. Retold in flashbacks. In flashbacks. Shitty transition. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to put a pause here and save this for another video. I wanted to have both these topics in the same video because they're kind of related. But this is getting way too long, and if I don't release something soon, my nipples will explode. But it felt really good to talk about anime again and be a little bit more analytical than I have been. So please look forward to the next part coming out whenever the fuck I learn to make videos consistently. Tell me how you feel about recaps and what else you feel impassioned about in anime that doesn't get talked about enough. Love you guys. Bye. I still love this shit, especially now that it's picking up steam. Kirishima, wow, I sound like fucking weeaboo saying that. I just want to say that while enjoying the wonderful mess that is Sword Art Online, Ala Zaitesh, Ala, Ala Disrotate, Ala, fuck, Alice in Wonderland Underworld of War, craft. <laughs> of course, this will still never be as bad as the old way of recaps where you had to suck a dick. <laughs>